Hey everyone, welcome to the I Am Precious podcast. I am precious and here on this channel we talk about real life things, real life situations, the adjustments that we need to make and how those adjustments make us better. So without further ado, let's get right into our topic. If you clicked on to this video, then you already know that we are talking about taking responsibility when it comes to self-discipline. This is so important for us because self-discipline is what is going to get us through life, right? It's going to get us to the goals that we want to make. It's going to get us to that weight loss goal. It's going to get us to that promotion. It's going to get us that car. It's going to get us that house. It's going to get us wherever it is in life that we want to be. And how can I be so sure to say that? I can be that sure because... If we're taking responsibility in our life to make the correct choices, decisions, friends, family, and the people that we surround ourselves with, well, then we don't have any choice but to elevate, but to have self-discipline out of the responsibility that we have already taken. So let's go over a few things that we can do to be self-disciplined. One of the first things that we can do to be self-disciplined due to taking responsibility is seeking those around us that fan our flame. Now, what that looks like is being around people that encourage you, being around people who feed you, who give you the energy that you need, who give you the vibrations that you need, to be the best version of yourself and again this is self-discipline it's not based off of what other people do or how other people do it but it is based off of knowing what you need right a plant is going to grow on its own but that doesn't mean that it doesn't need water and it doesn't mean that it doesn't need vitamins and nutrition it just means it's going to do what it's going to do when it's in the correct environment right so by paying attention to the people that you have around you, the people that nourish and inspire you, and the people that, you know, help assist you with your dreams and your fruitions, you're going to get to where it is that you're going. So many times we don't really think about how someone or someone's energy feeds into how our life plays out and the reason why is because if we're around negative people if we're around those stressful people who just want to have a pity party who just want to complain who just want to do nothing who just want to be lazy who want things handed to them that is the energy that they're feeding us and we don't have time for that right we don't have time for that We want people around us that are going to encourage us, that are going to help us, that have goals of their own, that aren't sitting around waiting for you to help them, but they're there to encourage you and and reciprocate what you give back to them, right? And in order to have these type of people around you, it's so important to take responsibility. And you may say, well, Precious, how can I take responsibility for what someone else does or how someone else is? You don't have to. That's how you take responsibility. You don't concern yourself with those types of people. And truly, you don't concern yourself with any type of people, right? But you are able to pick out what is good for you, what is conducive for you, and leave out what is not. It's our individual responsibility to pick and choose what we allow to exist around us because the truth is everything that we will ever go through is our own individual experience if you broke your toe somebody may feel sorry for you they're gonna send you a get well card and some flowers they might even you know make you breakfast and bread but they're not gonna feel that pain They're not going to go through the same experience that you're experiencing. No matter how much you love them, no matter how much you give to them, no matter how much time you spend with them, 
Everything that you experience from happiness to love and joy and pain and hurt and sadness, you will only ever experience on your own. Right? So we have to take responsibility for the energy that we want to feel, for those emotions that we want to feel. And we do that by picking people out or leaving people where they are. Okay? Another way to... Gain the self-discipline through taking responsibility is to nourish and inspire ourselves. It's so important that we put ourselves in the right environment, outside of friends, outside of family, but in our mentality, in our spirit, in our soul. It's so very important that we nourish ourselves. And sometimes that requires us to sit still. Take that quiet time, turn that TV off and really ask ourselves, what is it that I need to be successful? What is it that I need to make this dream happen? Because again, remember, everybody else can see from the outside what we're going through, but we are the only ones who individually experience the life that we create. And in doing that, that means... We have to nourish ourselves. We know what we need. When we're thirsty, if somebody else drinks water, that's not going to take that thirst away. You have to give that to yourself. You have to listen to what you need. So take the time to sit, maybe write things out, maybe meditate, anything, anything that you consider to be relaxing. Take that time for yourself and focus on what is it that I want? And what is it that I need to get there? And that requires taking responsibility. Because you can't wait for someone else to give you what you need to fulfill your dream. You can't have somebody else hand you your thoughts and what your spirit and what your soul needs. You are the only person that has control of that. Another way that we could take responsibility is by being willing to do what it takes and that's not always easy let me tell you it's not always easy to be willing to do what it takes because we know what we want and maybe we have a plan on how to get there but something discourages us maybe it's nervousness maybe it's shyness maybe we're not the best in certain areas maybe we have places to grow right But you have to be willing to work in accordance to the things that you want. You have to be willing to do what it takes. If it's hard, if it's long, if it's tiring, you have to be willing to do what it takes. Because it's not always going to be that way. It's not always going to be as hard as it was to start, right? Think of every hard thing in your life that you've ever had to do. Whether it was working out, whether it was staying in a relationship, whether it was taking care of kids, no matter what. Even though it may have started off difficult in the beginning or somewhere in the middle, it's by willing, being willing, excuse me, it's by being willing to see it through, to make it through, to make it work and to get to the end goal that you were able to get through that and maybe come out on the brighter side. You know, children get older, they don't require as much, Um, you know, your job may be hard, but once you learn it down, you have it down packed and you're good at it and you get paid to do something that you know how to do, right? So you have to be willing to do what it takes. What I want you guys to know is that it's not about your body as much as it is about your mind. I'm going to say that again. It's not about your body as much as it is about your mind. A lot of the times we say to ourselves, you know what, I'm too old for this. I'm too old to do that. Too much time has passed. That's not true. The expression mind over matter, that's a real thing. Your body, your mind, your thoughts, your words, everything comes from your mind. You can make your body do whatever you want it to do with your mind. 
Let's get through this workout. Let's get through this run. Let's get through this test, right? So many times we're challenged. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm nervous. I have to go in front of my class and make this speech to 30 people. But somehow we get through it. Because even though we have that freak out, right? Even though we have that freak out, when it's time to do what needs to be done, we tell ourselves, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it anyway. No matter how it comes out, good or bad, walk out there and do this. Even if you're nervous and trembling, you only got out there because you told yourself to. And that goes to serve and show that that self-discipline is super possible, amazingly possible. And by taking responsibility and understanding that the only person that is going to make us is ourself. We have to choose what is in our best interest. All of this is to say just that. We have to choose what is in our best interest when it comes to friends and family, when it comes to the people that we have around us, when it comes to nourishing and inspiring ourselves, when it comes to being willing to do what it takes, we have to choose what is best for us so that we can create the best environment to flourish in, the best environment to grow in so that we can have that mental peace, that mental clarity so we can feel free and not weighed down. I once heard a quote that said, you cannot win the war against the world if you can't win the war that's in your own mind. And that's true. That is so very true. A lot of times we're just not quiet enough within ourselves. We're trying to do 50 million other things, things that have nothing to do with us, saying yes when we really want to say no, saying okay when we really shouldn't, even be talking to this person. You know what I mean? We put ourselves in these positions that cause us to be stressed, take away from our energy, suck us dry, deprive us of the things that we need. And we're so busy depleting ourselves, giving to others instead of giving to ourselves and having that self-discipline to know the things that we need and that we don't. That at the end of the day, we don't have anything to give to ourselves. Take responsibility for your heart, for your happiness, for your life, and understand that it is only your responsibility, only your responsibility to do these things. Taking responsibility is taking charge of your power and of your life. And we do this by taking the responsibility to have self-discipline to have self-worth by taking responsibility we will not be able to blame others lean on others or look toward others when it comes to the success of our fruitions or the failures of our fruitions when it comes to what we need the love that we want to feel the things that we need to get us through every single day what i want you listeners to know is that you can never love anyone more than you love yourself. Because when you love someone, it is an extension of you. And this is why it is so important, so, so important for you to have that self-discipline so that you can love people who reciprocate, so you can work for people who reciprocate, so you can enjoy life with people who reciprocate, the self-discipline, and the responsibility that you display. I hope that you guys enjoyed this talk today. If you enjoyed it, please, please share this with your friends, your family. Share this with somebody that needs to hear it. Go ahead and like this video at the bottom. Subscribe and don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so that you can be notified 
anytime I upload a new podcast. Again, I am I Am Precious. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I look forward to hearing from you guys down in the comments below.